If there are any among us who think they are in the mission to evangelize the poor people, but not to alleviate their sufferings, to take of their spiritual needs, but not their temporal ones, I reply that we have to help them and have them assisted in every way by us and by others. Blessings and peace to you, my brothers and sisters. This is Father Michael, along with the rest of the team, welcoming you to the God Minute. Today, that quote that you heard at the very beginning is from St. Vincent de Paul, and it begins our focus today on charity, one of the foundational spiritual dimensions of the Vincentian spirituality. Let's begin as we do all things in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. O Lord, open my lips, and my my mouth shall shall declare your grace. grace. Psalm 46, A Haven God is our refuge and our strength, a haven in times of trouble. Therefore, we can be calm though the earth shakes, though the nations change, and though the sea rises. Our trust is in the Holy One who is making the heavens and the earth, who is with us in our own hearts. See the miracles that are a part of our lives, and the longings for peace and justice in our hearts, and the way we can make our lives abundant in nearly any circumstance. God whispers to us, Be still and know that I am God. I am with you to the ends of the universe and through all time. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the book of Proverbs, chapter 19, verse 17. Whoever is kind to the poor lends to the Lord, and he will reward them for what they have done. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be be to God. God. Today we are reminded that we are called to love our brother and sister, not just because of their dignity as fellow children of God, but primarily because they are living images of our Father in heaven. What does it mean that someone is an image of God? When we see an image of someone, they become present to us in a certain way. Something can be present in different ways. When I look at a picture of St. Vincent de Paul hanging on my wall, he becomes present to me. Is he fully present as if he were standing right in front of me in the flesh? No, of course not. But he is present to me in my mind. I recall his words, his teachings, his witness, in a way that inspires me to imitate his love and his virtue. According to the words from sacred scripture today, this is true for God as well. Whoever is kind to the poor lends to the Lord. In other words, when we act with generosity and charity to others, We should do so out of a recognition of God's presence in and with that person. This is our mission, as St. Vincent reminds us. We are not called to only care for the spiritual needs of the poor. We are commissioned to care for their temporal needs as well. He encourages us, saying, We have to help them and have them assisted in every way, by us and by others. What a challenge this is. But we should not fear. God works through our witness and our deeds to care for all the needs of others. He is present and working through us, no matter how small or great our actions are. But there is the key. We must work with God. It is not simply enough to stay at a distance from the poor and needy. We must care for them spiritually 
and temporally. I remember one instance when I came face to face with the presence of God in another person as a child. One Christmas Eve, when I was about six or seven, my family and I were walking out of the church after Mass. My dad and I were stopped by a man who could have spent his days serving as a shopping mall Santa Claus. He had a bushy white beard, rosy red cheeks, and smiled with seemingly limitless joy. However, there was something different about him. As I remember, he was not dressed in a suit like everyone else at Mass. His clothes were ragged and worn. While his outward appearance was a bit off-putting, I was drawn to his presence. He stopped me and with a big smile wished us a Merry Christmas. I began thinking, what was so striking about him? Was it the fact he resembled Santa Claus? As I grew older, I realized that what really drew me to him was the love and joy he shared with us that night. A love and joy that extended from our Father in heaven. God reached through this man to touch my family with his love and care. And we are called to do the same to all we meet. Charity is recognizing the presence of God in all his children. As St. Vincent de Paul models for us all, we should love others because of their inherent dignity as fellow children of the same Father. He has created every one of us to become masterpieces that shine forth his presence, his love, and his grace to all we come across, caring for all their needs. Let the name of Jesus be praised, both now and forever. Amen. Let us pray together the words that our Savior taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Loving God, as we begin this journey of faith through the spiritual dimensions of St. Vincent de Paul and his loving followers, keep us ever mindful of the beauty in each person, recognizing in them your face so that we may treat them as we ourselves would want to be treated. This we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Brothers and sisters, thanks very much for joining us today. I'm very much looking forward to our prayer for the rest of this month as we explore the spirituality of St. Vincent. And I pray that it benefits each of you as it has benefited each of us. Take good care of yourself and one another, and we'll see you tomorrow. St. Vincent de Paul. Pray for us.